After a long year spent in front of our computer screens and at home with our families, poker is back. And what better way to celebrate its return than the 2021 U.S. Poker Open? Hello and welcome inside the Poker Go studio. Ali Najad alongside Len Ashby bringing you the final table of event number two, the 10K Pot Limit Omaha. And you may recognize at least one of those faces as a regular fixture inside the Poker Go studio. That's Sam Sovereign in seat two. He is flanked by one Mark Brody to his right, screen left, Sovereign. The overwhelming chip leader, as you see there, has over 43% of the chips in play, just shy of 3.5 million. And there's the rest of the chip counts. On the short stack is Max Coleman in seat four. Blinds will begin at level 13, 15, and 30,000. There are the remaining payouts. $39,000 is locked up regardless of where you finish from this point moving forward. And a cool buck 75 awaits as 65 entrants had the opportunity to rebuy up to two times if they wanted. If you're unfamiliar with PLO, then you're not a friend of Len Ashby. Four hole cards, two from your hand, exactly. And three from the board. No split pot here. And Len, good to see you, my friend. It's yeah. Max Coleman. Three betting. Yeah, this is a pretty standard three bet with his stock, and uh, given Sam's opening a ton with chip lead, this is a pretty easy three yeah, bet for Pop. I think so. If I did it right. He left himself 5K back of the 290 that he had. We've seen a lot of that. For those that are unfamiliar, what is the thought process behind it? <laughs> you tell me, man. Come on. <laughs> could, he have, could he have gone all in? Generally speaking, I feel like it's in situations on the river. Yeah, where you, you, know, you just hope chance. somebody clicks call yeah, instead yeah, of puts you all in. Yeah. Sovereign didn't look thrilled with the situation as he's got the <laughs> Badoogie, four different I suits. I get to go to the river and fuck now you have the show the fan. Maybe I can just walk. <laughs> Is that a dark bet from Coleman? Probably. I, I'm not sure if he could. I think 290 might have been the max, so. I don't think he left himself a chip on purpose. Okay, might have been an inadvertent card protector there. Can I lose? Oh, wow. I Coleman know. did flop I, the I, nutter butters. Yeah, you, uh, can't, you can't lose, Max. You're gonna, you're gonna win this one. <laughs> Sam's hoping for the miss steal here. Yeah, another <laughs> queen of hearts hits the yeah, turn. Yeah, everyone gets their money back. Yeah. An old school player by the name of Garland Walters told me that, who's uh, Billy Walters' first cousin I used to play a lot with. He said, Lynn, I, we played a big pot, and I said, I, I, I'm drawn dead, Garland. He said, Lynn, you're never drawn dead. It, it might come another king of spades out there. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and it has happened. And it has happened. I've seen it at the Rio uh, twice during the World Series. Well, the paired board certainly was <laughs> cause for concern. If Coleman didn't already know, he had several drawing dead remember that the razor right i played an all-in with him pre-flop and limit hold him how about that <laughs> <laughs> he was just ready to go huh yeah i got tired of it and and i flopped the set of eights and we four bets pre and he kept raising and it was like queen eight so three. on the flop you on went the all flop in. it was okay. in indiana it was one of the first circuit events Hot. I said, you just want to get it all in? We had like three racks stacked up. And he said, yeah. I said, okay, let's go. <laughs> I looked at the dealer. I said, just run it. We're all in. And it came blank, blank, and I won. <laughs> and, and I was like, thanks. Did you ever see his hand? <laughs> he obviously had enough flush draw. I was just wanting okay. to gamble ace, king of diamonds. But well, hang on here. We've got some oh, wow, real action. Go. What a development this is. Savril right. made it 110,000. Then Crystals, three bets to 370. And Ploof looked down at two kings and decided, let's go. Runs into that one hand that you don't want to see and you feel for the young man there. The look on his face says it all. Yeah, but, you know, you're not dead. 32% here. It is kind of unlucky. Runs into the sand here. They caught me. Two super <laughs> premiums. I opened and everyone Ploof is actually the <laughs> noise your soul makes when you look up at aces holding kings. Did you know that? That's a little known fact. It's an automatopoeia. They caught me. 
Ace Jack do seven. So the King Rainbow. King Queen <laughs> Eight is going to need some help here. Christos has him covered with the aces. Are there some hearts out there? No, oh, ten trade Ugh. deuce and a gross flop for the Pretty. two kings. Pretty bad flop there for Ploof. Not really much of a back door of anything. Only uh, nine jack. The jack, jack yeah. King. Eight, nine, jack, queen. Anything. There's a lot of exciting turns. <laughs> not that. that is not one of them. <laughs> it is a stone two outer for the two kings here to stay alive. I love the game. And Will, the young man from Michigan, Live to fight on here. Will he be the first casualty of our final table in the 10K PLO? Oh, wow. Well. It's that was the it. latter. Paint, oh my God. but not the right one. And so we say goodbye to Matthew Plouffe in sixth place. Good showing for him, though. First cash ever in U.S. Poker Open history for him. 05 with the King, King, 10, 9, Badoogie, and Coleman. Jack, 10, 9, Trey, and two clubs. Don't mind him defending here. He has so much in the pot. His hand yeah. kind of sucks, but he also has a hand that he's going to know whether he's going with it on the flop or not. It almost feels like you're getting milked a bit when Savo raises and to that amount. That's the flop he wanted to hit. No kidding. Top pair and an open ender. Backdoor clubs for Coleman here. Up against the over pair, and Savo's got that open ender covered as well, so those aren't pure outs to OW. Yeah, he's going to be pretty unlucky here to be up against what Sam has. Uh, you know. And it's going to be a snap call. Sharing the 10 is Whatever. not good for his hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he's just like, wow, it sucks. Like, you know, he could be up against some hands where he's a decent favorite. Make two pairs. Yeah. Uh, four out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're going to find out about this ear, Ollie. Not a king. There's something going Someone's on. Something's going on four. We have a bad piercing. <laughs> what, I mean. It'd be a weird. You think during COVID, Anything he just broke bad three. and decided for like a cartilage pierce? Like, I mean, maybe your heart. <laughs> maybe you had the avalanche last night. <laughs> I mean, that's possible. Ace that's of spades on the turn. Insane. Bad card for Max. Now queen is no good. Nine outs exactly for Coleman to stay alive. And it's a set of kings on the end for Savril. Just like that, Max runs into the one hand that really had him in jail there. And you think he's thinking back to the preflop call and going, oh, maybe I didn't need to stick no, that money out there? No, he did nothing wrong there. I think it was fine to look, defend and uh, try to flop a hand. He flopped what he wanted and yep. just kind of was unlucky that Sam had the hand he had. Oh, Wiseman decides it feels like dead more, money. 180 more on top of this, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not just aces that Wiseman would pot. 525 behind. Correct. Right. The big 525 here. 525 right? here. 525 behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a weird kind of spot here. Uh, <laughs> when I say I like the limp by Brody, I just, I just mean that. How much is the call? These guys are kind of going to want to play with you. I'm just being honest, you know, you're the rec player, kind of, and, you know, uh, building the pot and isn't necessarily so great for you sometimes. You can kind of just get in there and be, be in position and be able to show some aggression in position. You okay with Brody? Yeah. Choosing any of the three decisions? Could mind. he fold? Could he call? I don't or, mind. Or no, I'm, I'm fine with him calling here, going to see a flop here. Jack, nine, deuce. Open ender for Wiseman. Pot. Three pot. Oh, oh my already. goodness. Brody's going with it. You have aces? Nope. And the Kings are blockers to the open ender for Dylan here. Yeah. Uh, no wrap. A little bit of a favor. You'd rather you have aces than Kings. Mm. Oh, wait, no. You have aces. I have an ace. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Obviously, the situation could have been worse. They've gotten it in here. And Wiseman at risk. Brody going well, to the Miyagi I, I, hand I'm rub. For you. I mean, I don't care. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I, I call that obvious bluff. <laughs> I'm not rooting for him, him, Brody. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. What a card. Exciting. Incredible. Top set for Brody on the turn, giving Wiseman the straight. 
No flush draw out there. And now Brody's blocking a nine. He needs the board to pair. Deuce, Jack, or a nine, or a king, of course, birthday, on the I'm end. <laughs> Instead, it's a five, and that is a gross beat. What a run out. That is uh, uh, I five, think five, uh, both players played everything correctly. There is just a, a pretty ugh, gross kind of run out there. A uh, big double there for Dylan. And, uh, yeah, put the eight out there, okay. But the king? Yeah, the king is just a little salty. It's a little salty there. Don't let us keep, if, if you have somewhere to be, don't let us keep you. I'll start multi-tabling at 530, <laughs> to be honest. Paul, that you? Probably not. Of course. Really? Are, are you playing? You get red and blind out. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that's fair. Jordan will sit this one out. Little, yeah, about a little more. Spades, two tens. Pot. All three cards working with each other. And Pot to 240 and Wiseman with ace, king, nine, eight. Yeah, we'll see what Dylan decides to do with the sand. Kind of an interesting pot. spot. Repot. Yeah, he's going to pot it. Sam doesn't like it. And. Uh, Well, big. How much you have, Jordan? Sorry. 1.130. Like you note that Savril's not asking for a count from Dylan in that spot. He was looking over at Jordan. Sorry, it's 720? Yes. Little surprised Sam decided to actually raise pre. Uh, uh, to, to you would have rather see him limp I in. I would have rather see him limp. He's, he's has a big edge to go on the post flop, I think, and he gets the button the next hand. And Dylan can wake up with a hand, you know, and the next thing you know, you're putting in a million like he right. is with 7, 10, 10 jack. And well, the good news for him is he's not up against an over pair. <laughs> Both have pretty poor flops, but Sam's uh, ahead. Yeah, very much so. The queen 6-4 board, neither player with the flush draw or backdoor flush draw. Yeah, what classic a, race. Classic race. <laughs> what a, what a whiff, uh, classic race. Whiff flop here. Three to one favorite Sorry, almost is Savril. Yeah, that's incredible. Do you want to say? You can, yeah, you can pull that. Yeah, not too often that hand on this board in an all-in pot is going to be that big a favorite. Yeah. And here comes the turn. Beautiful card for Sam. Dylan Wiseman. Got away with it already once against Brody, doubling through him. Can he get lucky twice? Good game, everybody. Yeah. No. Game, bro. Running playing, deuces. Keeps it clean. Savril with the two tens. Pressure, man. Right game, yeah. Holds. Yeah, and then there were three. Nine, seven, and how about Mark Brody here? Just hanging in. Right? I was like, he is living the He's dream right now, great. Len. I mean, this is, I mean, this is great. Man. It's I'm going to tell a Mark Brody story that he's going to be embarrassed about a little bit, I'm guessing, in hindsight, but is one of my favorite lines ever delivered. Oh, wow. In those years that we were doing poker after dark, we had a runner. And, but she wasn't really a runner. You know, she actually was like a, a segment producer, so she wasn't a runner. Let me, let me fix that part of it. As we see Brody make it 185, Savril flat, and Jordan. Delivering the squeeze. Okay, we'll just do that. With the two kings. Nine. Ten fifty. Not sure what Brody's other card is. And certainly know it's oh, wait a minute. I was gonna say we certainly know it's not an ace, but now that he's repotting. It could be the jack of clubs or ten of clubs, maybe. I got kings. I got aces. Oh my aces. goodness. Wow. Well, I'm gonna hit a king or a three, four. Is it the ace of diamonds? Because if oh, it is, oh no, I got this. This is us. This is all us. They repotted it. This is all us, Nicole. Yeah, that's oh. a lot of confidence. <laughs> well, you got to count his stack. Three, four diamonds. So and I had uh, one eighty-five and then plus eighty, right? Ship it. Is a big one. Should I just give it to you now? No, he wants. Why he potted? How much is bigger? Give me this. Yeah, yeah, they all in. Give me this hand. Not all of us. 
I'm serious on that. Put it on me. Three, four, diamonds, king. Two pure. You know, I'm not so sure Savra loves this start. spot here. I mean, granted, there's a pay ladder from he he helps third to that. second, which you lock up, but... I'm not sure if he, I wanted to hear that or not. <laughs> he probably you stood know, to do more thing, damage you know, just cobbling away at these two guys. Uh, possibly, but... Three-handed, didn't he? I think he... He likes the spot at either wheel. way. Diamonds, kings, goes, wheels, goes out and heads up. threes, I mean, fours. You know, and I, I know. Eliminate I, I, the player. You don't it. have to do much work. I get, I get <laughs> Anyone it. I to get the no every card in the deck but the ace. I get it. The ace even can make you a wheel. Ace isn't even that bad. Bang. Nine, nine, four. Oh, not a terrific right. flop for Jordan's kings. Not a single diamond on the board. So take the back door flush out of consideration. Four spades. That's the good one. Ace is looking good here. King of clubs. King of crystals. King of clubs. King of diamonds. Boom. Turn card. Oh, it is a four. Gosh. Wow. Devastating turn it's card. Go. Come on, baby. Fucking knew it went in this hand. Just put a nine out there. Yeah. A <laughs> nine. I forgot that was an out. Wow. Ace or a nine needed for Brody. Instead, it's the deuce of clubs, and that is a very, very bad beat. Uh, Hot. How much? How much do you have total? Three, like 400? I don't think I have that much. I have, uh, right. let's see. If All I... in. Yeah, it doesn't matter what your cards oh, are. Oh, really? Okay. You got a good one there, Jordan? Let's see if there's any justice in the deck for Mark Brody here, who 94. took that savage beat with aces against King King three four. Four diamonds is and the had to four. Have all the all extracurriculars magical. for dessert. Oh, was the four hearts on the turn. I think it was the diamond on the flop though. Are we gonna see a sequel? It's gonna be the king this time. The first king movie club. here. Jordan, wait, is pot? Damn, just tell me what happens, okay? <laughs> Mark can't breathe. He can't <laughs> take this, and yeah. I don't blame him, man. Walk four. away. Yeah, he Look, doesn't. Jordan's just groveling for a king, king eight, eight four. four. All diamonds. Well, um, I mean, well, that's impossible given you have the king of diamonds, but uh, you did catch <laughs> oh the king my of diamonds. It's a good flop for Jordan. Gut shot Broadway draw for Brody here. Three. I, I mean, you keep asking for stuff and getting it. Should I be asking? Give me a jack. <laughs> no. Sam. No jack. Sam's got to soak all this Who's in, too, six? by the way. running queens. Was it four? Oh, kings and fours. Now a heart draw, though. Hearts. For now Brady. Black card. Little black. I'll take hearts. 11 outs for Mark Brody, the amateur. Can he get oh, there? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. King four, he baby. makes a flush. It. King four. Go. All right. Heads up. I'm going to torture these mother. <laughs> okay? I think he did and I'm going to come back and I'm going to win this thing. Pot. 300,000. Jordan pots it with ace jack four deuce. Sava with 10 7 4 X calls. And the ace 9 7 rainbow board. Gives Christos top pair. Sovra with backdoor diamonds and the sevens. Might he also have a straight draw to go with it? I could have an eight for open-ended with it or even an ace for aces up or seven or set. We'll have to see. Somewhat vulnerable 400K here from Christos with just top pair, but you tell me. Yeah, it's pretty weak. I, I wouldn't mind a check back. He's putting 400 of his remaining 1.4 out there. and It's the kind of hand that sort of buckles against any sort of check raise from oh. Savril. Now the seven pairs on the turn, and Sam has himself trips. Christos is. Yeah, it's, Sam's full. It's. He's got the oh, that's right. Nine. He had the nine side card. So it's sevens full of nines. Neglected to acknowledge that once it was revealed. So Christos is drawing dead here. On. 
Oops. That will be the tournament. You got it, huh? Nice hand. Got it indeed. And Jordan That's it. took an yeah. aggressive line, flop, and turn. Ran in to the goods. So am I supposed to play this on the turn? Or the flop, I guess. Bet smaller? I mean, what do I do? Bet smaller on the flop, check back turn, fold the river, like it's my only shot with on 700 k I think when I you got a dry ace, you got to go big on the flop. Jordan. Two to one SP. You think I should? I almost just like potted to get it in, but I was like, if you Looking for race, a like, post-mortem no, right now, sure but. You want to go big. Like, like the real news is Sam Sovereal is your event two champion.